trained and Gatsby and uh, so uh, when you how long have you been off now it's been about a year and I still don't have I mean this was such an uh, this film took really everything out of me but you're good at relaxing and doing oh I'm great yeah well if you're just doing nothing and around you can come here every day if just you hang like. out yeah, yeah you can come by sort of stare at you like right i'll just put a chair right there and you just sit there <laughs> in a really creepy way yeah. just like i'll just be sitting up there nothing's creepy about you looking at me that's fine um so let's talk about we, we uh we were just talking during the break you had a, an amazing fundraiser uh and you sold art for uh your environmental uh, foundation what is the name of it uh, it's called ldf and we kind of focus on uh protecting uh you know endangered species and their ecosystems so coral reef systems, jungles that are home to sort of top predators, sharks, tigers, things like that. Because, I love that. Yeah. I love that you're doing that. And and you're protecting sharks. It's, um, I think when people are afraid of anything, whatever it is, a person or an animal, when you don't understand it and you're afraid of it, you we feel like we must destroy it, mm-hmm. you know? And sharks are amazing creatures. Absolutely. They're the top of the food chain. And 90, 90% of them have sort of been eliminated from the oceans but you know the truth is that uh these things have no voice you know and and only two percent of philanthropy goes towards environmentalism which is you know microscopic compared to the benefits that it gives us so mm-hmm. you know my whole goal with that auction was to really try to isolate some of these places and protect them for all time and, you know that's, that's my goal and you uh had an encounter with a shark yeah a few a few but didn't one get in weren't you in a cage or something yeah. and you got in there you know when I work with these NGOs, these nonprofit organizations, you kind of go on the ground, you see what's happening. I, I did a whole excursion where I went to Nepal, went on elephant back and looked for tigers. Of course, for four days I was there, I didn't see a single tiger. They blend into the jungle and you have and the elephants sort of go up on their hind legs and they react to a tiger being there, but you can't actually see them. And then I went to... Uh, Wait, what happens when you're on an elephant and it goes on its <laughs> hind legs? You hold on. Okay. You, you hold on for I your see. life. Thank you. Yes. And then we went, and then I went uh, scuba diving looking for sharks, and uh, I, I had a huge fear of, of sharks. Uh, and when I did Blood Diamond in 2006, I actually got stuck in a cage with a great white, which was awesome. Was, How big was the great white? It was a gigantic great white. And, and what do you mean? It was in it was with in the you? Cave in, in, yeah. How did you survive that? I don't know. I don't know. Then you're and, making it up. No, I'm not. I'm yeah. not. They actually said in 30 years this has never happened, but the tuna kind of got stuck on the top of the cage and the, the great white leapt out and tried to bite it and it went into the cage with me and half of its body was in and out and I flattened down at the bottom. It was this far away and it chomped a few times, but I survived it and the work that they're doing is great. They're protecting sharks as well. So I don't want to... You don't you know, need to go I, do that I, I anymore? Don't, I don't want to do that as, uh, anymore, but... You know, I don't want to discount their work because they're doing great stuff, but it was it was absolutely terrifying. 